How's it going everyone? Another video in 3ds Max. Today we're going to be looking at bringing materials from online sources um, onto your Vera um, in 3ds Max so you can create realistic materials. Um, so let's go straight into it. Get rid of that. Um, the website that I use um, is this one here. I'll post a link in the description or you can copy it. But yeah, well, either way. Um, so yeah, this is a great site. It has all the materials that you'll ever need for I don't know, fire, water, wood, granite, whatever you want. Um, so what you need to do is type that in, go to all materials, and type what you want. So in this case, we'll go for pure gold. Um, you'll have to make an account with these guys, but um, it's free. Um, just an email address, I think, is all you need, and obviously a username and a password. Um, but apart from that, it's, it's all good. Um, so click download. I've already downloaded it. Um, it's right here. Um, you'll get a file like this. This is a 3ds Max material file. Um, what I'll do for this is I'll copy it. I'll take it to my desktop, and I'll just paste it. Uh, there you go. Just so it's easier for this. Um, so I don't need that anymore. Um, so we'll bring up Max. Um, this is a new scene. I haven't done anything to it. The only thing that I've changed is um, the V-Ray renderer, so that's there. Um, so what, what you need to do now is um, just create a basic object, a sphere, make it big. Um, so that's Alt-W. Um, so we press M. And here's our materials. Go on standard, and since it's a new material, what you want to do is go on this here. And let's say open material library. So press that, and these are all my materials that I've saved. But um, yeah, we saved ours to the desktop, so we'll go straight down to here pure gold. Click it once, open, and it brings it into your library here. Right there, you see very material pure gold. Sometimes, um, if it's like a material that's quite complex, has like lots of layers, um. You'll have like a, a list of all the like layers, bumps, and everything down here like that. Um, in which case, you just need to look for the pure gold material. This sort of, this part here, you just need to look for that at the end, for like the the joint of the materials. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but yeah, if you're looking for yeah, if you have a list, you need to look for this material on the end, this very material MTL. So you click that, OK, and it'll load it into your scene. Put the background on and you can see it's transparent. I'll double click it and hopefully it'll load up. It usually takes a while when it's a bit slow, maybe not. Either way, drag it onto the here. And there you go, there's your VRA material. Um, so once you have your VRA lighting and set up and everything, um, that will look just like it does on the picture that we've seen in the first place. Um, so yeah, really easy, free, uh, quick way of making renders look real and um, so good luck with your render and hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon